Hello everyone, you are on the Kinda Short channel and today we will have a short retelling of the film The Great Equalizer 2. Let's go. Former Marine Intelligence Specialist Robert Muckle now lives in Massachusetts. Muckle works as a taxi driver and helps less fortunate people who are in trouble and deal with their problems. His friend Susan Plummer helps him in this. McCall secretly goes to Istanbul by train to take away the daughter of the owner of the city bookstore, who was abducted by her Turkish father to annoy the child's mother, and successfully deals with the man and his friends, and then anonymously leaves the girl at the reception of an American law firm, where she is picked up by a joyful mother. There are two kinds of pain in this world. Pain that hurts, pain that alters. McCall also mercilessly beats up a group of men, discovering that the girl they sent home in his taxi, they drugged and raped. Make sure I get a five-star rating, Junior. McCall also likes to chat with one of his clients, Sam Rubinstein, a survivor of the Holocaust, who is looking for a picture of his sister. At one time, the brother and sister were separated when the Nazis transported them to different camps. The painting was found at auction, but Sam can't prove that he has the rights to it. The yard of the house where Michael lives is hooligan painted with graffiti, and Michael accepts an offer from Miles Whitaker a young local resident who agrees to wash the wall and paint his artwork on it for a certain amount. One day, Susan, an operative of the Foreign Intelligence Service, Dave York, a former teammate of Muckle, is called to investigate either the murder or suicide of one of the intelligence agents and his wife in Brussels. When the two go to their hotel rooms, Susan is brutally murdered while trying to rob her room. After receiving the news of Susan's death, Muckle immediately goes to investigate her death, as well as the case she was supposed to study. Muckle, finding out that the attackers were hired to kill Susan, discovering that they knew exactly which floor and where exactly her room was. Muckle also believes that the incident with the agent in Brussels was exactly a murder disguised as suicide, and Susan's death is connected with it. Mac informs York of his findings. During one of the trips around the city, McCall is attacked by an assassin, who first pretended to be a passenger. McCall kills the attacker and takes his phone to find information about who sent it. Guess you don't fly that often, huh? Been driving in the opposite direction of Logan for the last three minutes. The next morning, Muckle comes to York's house. Allegedly he needs help in deciphering a military-grade program installed on the attacker's phone. However, Mac had already cracked the encryption and detected calls from York's phone. Mac tells York that he knows it was York who ordered both him and Susan to be killed. York admits that he did it and says that he killed Susan himself, since the two attackers could not cope with her. Muckle meets with the three remaining teammates. Resnick, Ari and Kovac, and they threaten each other. Resnick and Ari as head to Susan's house to kill her husband Brian, however, Muckle intercepts Brian before the killers find him. York and Kovac, meanwhile, infiltrate McCall's apartment, grab Maz, and find out where McCall is hiding. In the face of an impending hurricane, Mac returns to his small seaside town and prepares for a fight with York and his team. The evacuated town is cordoned off due to a hurricane, but York arrived and shot a guard on the road, and the mercenaries enter the city. Kovac, Ari and Resnick go in search of McCall, and York climbs the main tower of the city with a sniper rifle. Kovac walks into a tackle shop and McCall kills him with a harpoon gun. Ari, who was heading to the coast, constantly bumps into photos of Susan on the way, and when he loses mental control over himself, McCall stabs him with a knife and leaves him mortally wounded. Mac goes into his wife's old bakery to lure Resnick into it. Resnick is killed when a light grenade he threw explodes a building filled with McCall's combustible substances. Enraged, York shoots at his car, in the trunk of which Miles is tied up, luring McCall out. But he runs out of bullets after McCall calls fire on himself. That is getting stronger and he knocks York over, and when he gets to his feet, Muckle is already climbing the tower. In the fight, Mac picks up and beats York and pushes him off the edge of the tower. York falls to his death. Muckle pulls Miles out of the trunk and takes him to his old house to heal his wounds. Hey Mr. McCall, who are you man? Upon returning to Massachusetts, the information obtained by Susan before her death about the painting of Sam's sister helps Maclu find Sam's sister still alive, and the old men embrace, having found each other after so many years. Miles finishes repainting the courtyard, returns to school and begins to develop his art. McCall, back in his old house, looks out at the calm sea. Mom, he actually, actually drives a Malibu. And that's it. Thank you all for watching. Write your opinion in the comments, put likes, subscribe to the channel and buy 